Well, hey, neighbor, it's me, Angie. Come on in. It's time for our neighborhood chat. Yes, it's that time of week. First, I'd like to share good news with you. I've reached over 1,200 neighbors, so I will be doing a giveaway. But there is a catch to the giveaway. You have to be a part of my channel in order to win. Um, I just don't want somebody randomly coming into my live chat and winning, and they never come to my channel or support me. I want someone who has supported me and helped me get to where I am right now. I never dreamed I would make it to uh, 500, much less 1,200. And I just want to keep going, not because of the numbers, but because the more neighbors I'll have and the more people that I'll get to meet and become neighbors with and get to know and acquaintances. Um, today, I'm going to have to share something really honest with you. I'm in a, I'm just in a, in a mood of, I'm at, I'm at peace and I'm not really sad, but I just don't understand some things that, and I guess I'll never understand them that have been going on. I want to understand them. I want to. Uh, and in a way, I guess I, I kind of understand it. But I don't understand why people have to hurt each other. I know there's always going to be conflict. There's always going to be people gossiping and being ugly to one another. I know that's going to be out there because people are selfish, self-centered, narcissistic, right fighters. You know, they want to be right all the time. Uh, and I understand that. Just like today, during my live, I had um, trolls coming in more than I've ever had on my channel that was just talking about me and the Southern Belle and how we were this way and that way and saying nasty things about kind of relationship we had. And and then they stopped that because I just started laughing because I was like, y'all don't know this is not bothering me in the least. I could care less. But it hurt me for her because irregardless if you like her or don't like her, that was really uncalled for. And I really don't appreciate it. She's my friend. I don't care what you think about our friendship. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it tonight. But uh, I just don't understand why people want to come in and hurt someone and say the mean things that they said in my chat. Which, like I said, I wasn't affected by it. It didn't bother me. Uh, I just thought it was childish and they wasted their time. That's time in their life they're never going to get back. Obviously, they don't value life and they don't value time. You know, that's one of our most cherished commodities that once we use it up, there's no getting it back. You're not getting that time back. But maybe that's something I just enjoy doing. But anyway, I don't understand why uh, people lash out at each other and never speak to each other again. And and I want to share something with y'all that I've I've not even talked to my family a lot about this. My immediate family are my extended family because for years I could not talk about it. I mean, this is how bad this hurt me. But the friendship that I've been talking about here lately on my videos that I was friends with someone for 10 years and all of a sudden it just abruptly ended. It wasn't because I chose it because I didn't. The other person chose it. Um, I had never felt so betrayed in my entire life. 
uh, I was so hurt. And it's one thing to hurt someone. It's another thing to make someone mad. Now, when you hurt someone, it's a little harder to get over than someone being angry. Because when you get angry, you can get over being angry. But when someone hurts you to the core of who you are after you've invested so much of your time and energy into them, that's something you don't get over easily. Uh, but I learned a lot from that experience. I didn't think I was going to learn anything from it but pain. Uh, it's taken me years to get over it. And I wanted to get past it because I didn't want to grow bitter and angry over what happened because then I couldn't remember all the good times and the good memories we had and we shared. She had her reasons why she did what she did and ended our friendship. We didn't even utter a word to each other for six years when we had spoken to each other every day for 10 years. All of a sudden, nothing. But we did get a chance to speak before she passed away and get everything, I wouldn't say straightened out, but just come to an understanding of, I forgive you. And that's really what I wanted to tell her is I forgave her. But when she passed away, I really didn't grieve her like I would have because I grieved her when our friendship broke. You know what I'm saying? So when she passed away, I didn't hurt as bad as I did when our friendship broke up because I was grieving for her then. Um, it was a bad time in my life. And I know what it's like to lose a close friend. And I know how valuable friendship is. And a lot of people don't take it oh, seriously to be a friend. And a lot of people don't know how to be a friend. They know how to use somebody. They know how to take things from people. You know, they're just users and takers. And 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 they don't, that's all they know how to be. That's all they were taught to be. And then you come across people that literally give of themselves to a friendship. And then all of a sudden, it wasn't what it seemed to be. And that's heartbreaking. So when I see things on YouTube happen between people that, and I like I said in my live today, I know People can't be really friends. Like, I can be friends with someone around here, you know, in my neighborhood to really physically be able to see them and know that, you know, they're tangible. I can reach out and touch them. I mean, for all I know, everybody that I'm friends here on YouTube with uh, could be people that are lying about everything they are. Uh, I've met a couple of YouTubers on here that I dearly love and appreciate them. And I love you all, and I say that, and I mean it. But I don't get emotionally attached to people for the very reason of that friendship. And emotional attachment can be dangerous. Can be very dangerous. Uh, some people jump in, just jump in the deep water and take off and get emotionally attached, and they don't care. They just go with it. I can uh, admire and respect those people because that's really taking a chance. But the real kind of love that you're supposed to have for people, it's not emotional. You know, it's not. Uh, a ooey gooey feeling and it's not uh anger and it's not uh you do this or I'm not gonna do this for you or we're not gonna be friends if you act like this and if you're just gonna talk like that, you know, if if you're in a friendship and they don't allow you to have your own opinion and and your own thoughts and and then and it not be like theirs, then you don't have a friendship. 
uh, if you're in a friendship that you're walking on eggshells and you don't feel like you can say what you want to say because you're afraid that person's going to leave and not speak to you again, that's not a friendship. You may be being the friend, but friendship is more than one person. I mean, a friend and friendship is two different things. Be careful who you hook your wagon to, you know, especially on YouTube. I mean, if you want to hook your wagon to everybody and everything that comes along and you want to share your whole life story, just be prepared that if something happens between you and that person, they're probably going to tell everything. The floodgates are going to open. So I'm just warning you, be careful. But if you don't care, go ahead and tell it. I don't have anything to hide. I really don't. But I don't really tell a lot because about personal things because I don't really think it's necessary. Now, I was on uh, Ella's channel. I'm on her channel on Sunday nights and we talk about a lot of deep subjects. I was on Susanna's uh, channel and she interviewed me and I got into my life some. Josie and I did a, a live and I talked about my life some. but And I'm not ashamed of it. I will tell you anything you want to know. But I'm not going to volunteer information or become your friend and just pump you full of things that about me. And then for you to use and attack me with. Um, and give you ammunition to uh, degrade me, uh, say bad things about me. And of course, there's the trust factor. You know, you have to, to some extent, trust people. Now, I grew up, I didn't trust anybody. I mean, you had to prove yourself to me. I mean, literally prove it. I wasn't like my sweet little Berkeley who, bless her heart, she trusts everybody. And she loves, I wasn't like that because I had been hurt my entire life. So I didn't, I learned not to trust at an early age. So, and when I was growing up, you had to earn your trust with me. You just didn't get it. You had to prove that you were worthy of my trust. Now, you don't, because I trust myself enough to know whether you're on the up and up or not. And if you're not, and I trust you, then that's on me. That's not on you. Uh, but tonight, I'm just so saddened and hurt seeing people that I literally love and care about in pain and I don't like it it doesn't feel good um I, I, I wish that it had, had things that had not happened in anybody's life where they're having pain but you know like I always say pain makes you grow and it's sad to say that, but until we're in pain, we don't turn to the one that really matters. And that's God himself. And all these little things that we are so angry and mad and bitter and wanting to argue and fuss and fight about. And the big picture, it doesn't really matter. Now, I don't say not get out what you want to say. Yes. If somebody hurts you, yes. Let them know that they hurt you. Yes, I think you should. But in the big scheme of things, there are bigger things to worry about. The way our world, the situation that our whole world is in. The situation that the United States is in. Little kids would go into bed with nothing to eat. Homeless people, our veterans that are not even being taken care of who fought for our freedom, for me to be able to sit here and freely speak to you over a video. 
I mean, where are people's heads at on a daily basis? Do they not think past this? Do they wake up in the morning and think it's all about them and the world revolves around them? Let me share something with you. It does not revolve around you. It does not revolve around me. If you were no longer here the next 24 hours or I was no longer here the next 24 hours, the world would still go on. So for people to wake up plotting, scheming, uh, being deceptive, gossiping, backstabbing, uh, trolling, just to make someone feel less than or be mean to someone, they must live a sad, lonely life because I don't really get it. Now, that's the ones that I pray for because being a narcissistic person, you're not going to see it. I mean, you don't know what you don't know. And you don't do better till you know to do better. Some people don't want to know. They are just as happy and content to be vicious and mean and uh, cliquish and have these little girl groups. I mean, what in the world is that about? Uh, I'm 50, almost 57 years old. I have no desire to be in a group of women that are talking about another woman or putting down on another woman or saying bad things about people. I have no desire for that. My mind is directed into who can I uplift today? What's something nice I can do for someone? How can I make someone's day better? How can I make my husband's day better? My children's day better. My grandchildren's day. You know, some of us need to get off YouTube and pay attention to our family. And quit trying to uh, run YouTube and try to figure out who's saying what and who's doing what. And, you know, all that. And really focus on what's important. And that's, if you're a Christian, that's God. And then it's your family. Then it's your church or whatever you go to worship the God that you worship. And then it's your friends. And I mean, YouTube runs way down the line. It's it's not even in the top 10 probably. But people have done, got caught up in the YouTube scene that they can't get away from having to up one. You know, uh, this person does something, you got to up one. You got to do something else. All I can say is, I'm not taking sides on anything. Now, I know in the Bible it says, if you're lukewarm, God will spew you out of his mouth. Well, I don't think this is what this means. Because I can stay neutral in most every situation. Now, if you attack my family, if you attack my children, and now I have grandchildren, uh, I probably won't be able to stay so neutral. But when it comes to things of other people, and I've said this before, having a different disagreement, it doesn't mean that I didn't agree with one side more than the other. It just means that I'm not going to get in it. And any party, any of the two parties that says to you, either choose a side or, you know, that's it. That's the side you need to watch out for. The side that says, oh, stay neutral. I understand that one is pretty self-contained. You know, there's a story in the Bible. These um, ladies come up with a baby. And uh, each one of these ladies was saying the baby was theirs. And the king said, okay, well, we'll cut the baby in half and give half to one and half the other. Well, the lady that really was the mother said, no, no, please don't do that. That's how the king realized who the mother was because she did not want that baby 
harmed in any way. So when you have a true friend, and this is stretching that story a little bit, but on a, to look at it in a friend way, they're not going to want any harm to come to you. They're not going to want any evil. They're going to try to protect you, uh, try to be there for you. Um, not always agree with you now. I don't have a friend that always agrees with you. That that would be a problem. And when you're doing something wrong, they can look at you and say, I love you, but that's not the right attitude. I love you, but you don't need to be acting like that. I love you, but don't talk about those people around me. You know, and if you're really friends, they'll go, yeah, I know. I shouldn't be doing that. But I'm here to tell you, don't take friendship lightly. It is something that is valued and should be held in your hand. It's very fragile. Don't break it up over a third party, especially. I mean, have a good, valid reason. Now, if I had a friend that was trying to take James, which I would kind of blame him because, I mean, he has a choice in it too. But, I mean, that was one thing that would probably break up a friendship for me would be having one of my friends flirting with James or wanting to try to break up our marriage or something like that. Now, I would say, now, you got we can't be friends anymore. So there are circumstances which you have to end a friendship. Uh, I would jokingly say, uh, you can have him, you'll bring him back. But I mean, that's just me joking. But uh, realistically, no, I would not want one of my friends to steal my husband. Um. So there are circumstances if you do something to my child, uh, if you harm my grandchild, if you start a bad rumor about me that's not true, we'll have to come to an understanding. But I'm here to tell you, please think before you get close to somebody and befriend them. And share things that you can never take back about yourself. Don't share things with somebody unless you don't care if they're repeated or not. I don't tell by anybody anything that I care if they repeat. But I'm here to tell you. I have a heavy heart because I don't really like the sad things that I'm seeing like today on my live, people coming in and doing what they did. Not because I was upset about it, but just that sad people living a sad life. You know, other people, friendships breaking up, people gossiping and talking and drama. I mean, some of these channels is almost hilarious. Because it's so crazy what the drama is. But just know this. Life is too short. And we all matter. We all have a reason for being here or we wouldn't be here. I absolutely care and love about e love each and every one of you that are my neighbors. And I literally hurt when you hurt. When your family is hurting, I hurt. When you ask for prayer, I pray for your family or anybody that you won't pray for. Just know that. Just know that when everything seems to be against you, everybody's not against you because I'm standing over here going, I'm not going to be angry with you. I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not going to turn my back on you. And I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Neighbor, this has been our neighborhood chat. I know it's been kind of random. And I've been going all over the board. But I have just been troubled today. My heart has been heavy. Like, share, subscribe. Comment. Please comment. And embrace somebody and love them. Allow yourself to love someone. 
take that chance. And with that being said, bye neighbor. <laughs>